Hi everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and this week we're going to be doing some tutorials. Um, we're going to be using Colourbox, Versafine, um, Brushos, Gel Press, some of our brand new stamps that we're going to be launching on Thursday. So I hope you can join us throughout the week. We're going to be doing something every day. So sit back and enjoy. So for our demo today, we're going to be using our lovely green man. A uh, stamp I've not used for a while actually. Um, so we're going to use the Distress Oxides, we're going to use Versifying Clairs and uh, maybe even some of the brushos. So let's start with Twisted Citron. Okay, so I'm going to bray this onto the card. This is just a good base for us. And we're going to be splashing a little bit of water over this towards the end. I'm going to work my way around the edge of the card. Just take a little bit off at the beginning and that way um, you're less likely to get any lines on your card. So just take that first layer off and even the edge and then very softly just bring it in. Now we all bray a different ways, there's, there's no uh, wrong or right way to do this. It's whatever works for you. Some people bray it this way. I just have a preference for going that way. And failing that, do you know what? You can use your smoothie and just go around the edge if braying isn't for you. Okay, moving on to fossilized amber. This is a lovely rich yellow, almost sort of a mustard yellow. I'm just going to bring that in over the top. Giving us a, a really nice sort of green yellow. So this demo is really about building your layers um, and the stamp that we're going to be using is our Green Man and it's something that you, if you like colouring in, this is a great stamp to use. So moving on to the Nocturne, this is the Versafine Claire. This is our oil based ink. As you know I love Versafine, it just gives us fantastic detail and with our stamps being so detailed um, you don't miss anything with Versafine. Funny enough it was a customer that told me about Versafine gosh about 16 years ago and I've never looked back since they've always been consistently good for us. Okay, so I'm going to pop him down in the centre and just give him a good press. It's quite a big stamp so give that a little bit of time and just let it rest on the card. Let the ink soak in press all around the edges
There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to be using some of the, the leaves that come with the Green Man uh, just to build up the layers around him. I've also got some berries um, and some other little leaves and branches so it's quite a fun project to do this it's um you can use anything really just to um, build him up uh, if you wanted to do even a christmas card he would look great with some holly around him so it's quite a versatile stamp okay so i'm going to start with the leaves and this is a uh, shady lane I'm going to stamp and then again as well just giving the ghost impression um, which gives us a really nice depth Don't worry too much about where you're placing um, the leaves because you're going to be building building him up um, so much that um, it won't really matter. Um, so don't don't worry about it being too even at this point. Um, this one is a rainforest. This is a, a slightly deeper green. And you see already how just using those different greens it gives us a really nice depth. So you can apply this technique to so many different projects. we've got here I've got a really small one and we'll use Chianti for this one it's almost like a, a purple brown it's a really nice color actually because it's quite a dark color as you can see I'm only using the second impression I don't want it to be too dark because it will pull our eyes away from the main focal point which is the actual face. go with some berries and what colour shall we use? Let's try the medieval blue. Now it'd be too dark to put straight on but if we do a second impression maybe it's not quite let's try um, monarch That's a better colour, okay. So just bob a few of those about. And again, it just gives it a little bit of a different texture.
Okay, that's fab. I'm going to use, um, what else have we got? A little branch here. I'm going to pop the branch around as well. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going back to Shady Lane. And just pop in a few of those about as well. And you can see how wonderful he just builds up. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go around the edge of the card now. Um, I feel it needs a little bit of depth again. So this time I'm going to use the Rainforest, which is our very deep uh, green. Okay, that just kind of pulls your eye in. And then I'm going to use uh, the fan brush and some water and just splash that over where the oxide is just to pull out a little bit of colour. Again, just giving it another texture. The oxides are, are great for um, being reactive to water. So I'm just going to use the heat gun just to speed the process up. Take that bit of water out now with the tissue. I hope you can see that how it's reacted. It's really, it's really nice. It's brought um, definite texture to the card. Okay. So now I'm going to just concentrate on bringing a little bit of colour and detail into the face. And all we need to do here is follow the lines on the green man. So I'm going to be using, this is the moss green for the uh, brush on the brushos. So I'm just going to follow some of those lines. Brushes make great um, watercolours to work with. Don't forget to add quite a bit of water to them though because they're so um, uh, pigmented that the colour is really, really vivid. So you can just test. Test the colours on a bit of paper first. Okay. 
It's such a, a fun project to do. It's quite therapeutic, just colouring in. I'm sure a lot of you know. Okay, so it gives it a whole different look now just by bringing in a little bit of colour into the face of the green man. I'm going to use our um, jelly roll pen, this is a copper, and I'm just going to highlight some of these areas. Again, the lines here are great, um, great just to sort of follow without thinking too much about where you're going to put this colour. Just follow some of the lines. It's a good guide. Looks really fab. I hope you can see the um, the copper in this because it looks great from where I am. Okay, so finishing off now, I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, glitter. We we'll use use this one which is kind of which is a brown a copper sort of and a green which will suit what I'm doing here I only want a little bit so I'm going to use my glue pen and again just follow a couple of lines Probably that's enough and then literally just sprinkle that over the top. That's fab. I hope you can see that. I'll try and bring it a little bit closer to the camera. But it's just a really uh, fun card uh, to create just building up those layers and experiment with colour you know I've used greens today but you can use purples, browns, blues, uh, red berries uh, you know the joy is in experimenting at the end of the day so uh, thanks for watching guys anyway I hope you enjoyed that see you again soon